this metallic bellow failed after installation on a pipeline when the line was pressurized during testing at this point bellow convolution has been torn off and you can see how bellow convolution has been separated on the left side after measurement it was observed that the bellow has been elongated axially and overall length of the bellow has been increased by about 200 mm due to this axial elongation of the bellow bellow convolution has become plane now you can see plane bellow convolutions whereas originally bellow convolutions were like this also it was observed that tie rods were not mounted with the bellow instead the shipping brackets were kept as it is these are the shipping brackets these two shipping brackets were unable to restrict axial elongation of the bellow and shipping brackets have been detached from the bellow now you can see thin stainless steel ply of bellow convolution which has been failed or torn off due to elongation of the bellow double ply was used to make the bellow convolution now we will see the reason of this bellow convolution failure now this is the original bellow before failure bellow size is 12 inch that means 300 mm nb and bellow ends are bar weld ends the bellow convolution failed in this area this bellow is having two sets of convolutions one set at left side and other set at right side and this is one set of tie rod and this is another set of tie rod technically this bellow is called universal tied lateral bellow these yellow brackets are shipping brackets which should be removed after bellow installation due to flexible bellow convolution we get flexibility from the bellow at the same time bellow convolution is not axially rigid as like pipe at pressurized condition axial pressure load is generated across the bellow convolution the quantum of this axial pressure load is equals to pipe cross sectional area into internal pressure when this bellow was installed on the pipeline at a compressor discharge and the line was tested at 10 bar gauge pressure the generated axial pressure load across the bellow convolution is 7065 kg this axial pressure load has to be taken care by the tie rods by keeping the tie rod nuts tight so that bellow will not be able to expand axially due to internal pressure so we will not get any flexibility from this bellow in axial direction we will get flexibility from this bellow in lateral direction only that's why this bellow is called universal tied lateral bellow since tie rods were not mounted with the bellow the bellow has been stretched by about 7 ton load resulting axial expansion of the bellow and finally failure of the bellow convolution just imagine if the internal pressure is 30 bar gauge then about 21 ton of axial pressure load will be generated if we do not provide tie rod with nuts then not only the bellow will be stretched 
by 21 ton load but also this much of load will be transmitted to the connected equipment which can damage the equipment also. You can see that the value was supplied properly with tie rods, nuts and lock nuts which should be kept tight and after installation yellow shipping brackets are to be removed. Not only that with the tie rod nuts spherical washers are also provided so that the bellow can take lateral movement easily. You can see the spherical washers also. One washer is convex and another washer is concave. So while installing this type of metallic lateral bellow, we will have to be very much careful and we should not remove or we should not keep tie rod nuts loose. Now you can see an installation of similar double convolution universal tied lateral bellow at one compressor discharge. Tie rod nuts are kept tight from outside with lock nut so that the bellow will not be able to expand axially due to internal pressure and axial pressure thrust load will not be transmitted to the compressor. We are getting benefit of lateral movement only from this bellow. You can see how the tie rod has been kept tight using nut and lock nut on outer side of the tie rod.